you'd actually find, as I say, that that basically Germany was actually product testing all my stuff for me. The gyrocopters, the helicopters, the aircraft. Um, Germany was actually doing all the product testing, all the manufacturing on a lot of the different stuff and a lot of the different things. And basically JFK, Nixon, Jimmy Carter and all of them just basically killed a bunch of people and pretty much tried to say that they owned it and that they were in power and all that. And it wasn't, you know, it's not, it's rather disgusting and just horrible and just disrespectful and pretty much just thieving and basically they were mostly just um, pretty much beating the crap out of 80 year old people and killing them. And um, and then they also were raping and, and killing children as well. and. And it turned out that they were very despicable, horrible people and basically just running around saying that they were heroes and that they were doing some good thing. You know, just like the Stomp people, basically, and pretty much, um, basically, their leader was pretty much JFK Nixon and now their leader is basically old and dead. And, um, and pretty much JFK said that that they were going to be immortal and this and that and it goes into Rodney and Rodney was was also like oh yes they're immortal you know it's basically a bunch of people saying oh yes this is going to happen this is going to happen this is going to happen and like nothing that they wanted happened they were just you know nothing happened more than than they were just running around killing people and it was all just a lie you know Richard Nixon JFK um, Jimmy Carter you know, you find out later on that they were just basically killers and rapists. Like, Jimmy Carter raped a bunch of people. JFK raped and killed a bunch of people. Uh, Hell's Angels probably raped and killed a bunch of people. Helped the Yellers, you know, kill a bunch of Germans that had money, basically. And then they just basically ran around for about five or ten years killing a bunch of people in a bunch of towns. And they're eventually hunted down and killed. You know, and it's just basically nothing more than people saying, come here, little girl, I got some drugs for you. And, um, you know, now their great leader, Nixon and Jimmy Carter, is dead. Rodney is the next in line. He's dead too. Going to die. And a bunch of kids are, go are left going, what the heck is, you know, it's just like, well... You were lied to for about 150 years or 50 years or 80 years and by some people that just didn't care and they're dead and being tortured for a thousand years now and they thought they were going to go to space and be all this greatness and they kind of were in a way but then they were hunted down and killed and removed from existence. Is either that or they were going to kill everything else and the planet Earth. So, you know, Nixon from day one wanted to kill everything on the Earth, everyone on the Earth. You know, there was seven billion extra people or six billion extra people here as far as he was concerned. That was Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon. So, you know, he wanted to kill everyone. So that was his great goal. Like Nixon and Jimmy Carter and all of them would say, there's a great whatever. And it's like what it came down to is they were just going to kill everyone. Rick Bush, Rodney Briley. They're all part of the same, you know, Rodney Briley, I believe the Yellers and Rick Bush, Yellers. And they would go do public disturbances while people were beaten with bats. And... You know, you know, then they were doing bathtub meth. And so you get a whole bunch of children basically going, who's our great leader? It's like, you don't have one. Sorry. Trump, he, he's just a liar too. He's just bikers, you know, trying to cover their ass so they can get out of jail or prison for everything that they did in the other countries. There ain't nothing here good here. You know, I had to fight them for five million years. And at the end of, end of that five million year fight, <laughs> they died. 
rather painfully, I might add. I have memories of JFK, basically. That's one of the things he liked to do. He liked to strap people to beds and, elect uh, and electrocute them. <laughs> the bed frames of beds, you know, the metal. He would tie people to the bed frame and electrocute them <laughs> for, for hours. That's what JFK and Richard Nixon and Jimmy Carter would do. They would torture them. <laughs> so some race basically went and tied him to one and basically made it last a thousand years. He was like, like this, by the time they were done. He didn't know who, his, who he was. He didn't know his name. And it's like, oh, you're not dying yet. You know, a feeding tube is in his arm. You know, for, for, for thousands of years. Every single one of his clones, all in a line. Jimmy Carter, antimatter. Rodney Briley, Rick Bush, existential existence guy, everyone that was ever a problem for existence or, or humanity was hunted down and killed through time and space until they were no longer a problem. If not by me, then by somebody else. There are five trillion life, life forms out there and they were a problem for everyone. So... With the death of Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon, and Rodney Briley, and and um, and Rick Bush, that's it. they were the last of supposed great leaders. Last of the yellers, last of stomp. Getting old and dying because about 40 years ago they wanted a quick, rich way. Ooh. Now there's just a few extra people and a bunch of young kids running around going, What's going on? What's happening? Why does my pussy want more? It's like, well, I made you. Yes, you love sex. I know. It's not a big deal. You can have all the sex and all the drugs you want. Just don't overuse it. Anyway, Richard Nixon and, and, uh, and Jimmy Carter basically gave drugs to people. And that was basically how... How, 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 Hell's Angels. Hell's Angels, yeah, so cool. Ride motorcycle. Arr, monkey bars. That, uh, monkey bars are actually from the alpha male shit. You know. Ooga, ooga. And it was actually because monkey bars were actually done because they couldn't pull their arms in that much to, 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 to grab on the thing. I'll get into that in a minute.